terrible Judas, gorgeous Georgian fighting face from our victory. Woeful wars, ferocious fights, stingy cars, dead at night. Horrors that defy description, cutthroat cuts or bullet jets, smashing sex and cruel crime. Punishment for a nation die. Roman rotten wreck and ruthless Norman savage fierce and tubeless civil wars, brainy sages. Mean and miss in middle ages. Gory stories, we do best. And your host are drowning rats. The past is no longer the mystery. Welcome to Horrible Histories. Horrible Histories presents Crooked King John and Magna Carta. <laughs> Don't hear many nice things said about King Jotham the First. Some people would go further and proclaim him as the worst. For John was not a much loved king, in France he lost a war. Annoyed the Pope, but then gave in and lost to France once more. He lived a life of luxury, that's what his tax was for. And when he'd spent their income fee, he taxed his barons more. So why is King John's reign defined as a most special thing? Because the Magna Carta signed when he was England's king. King John, the story of a family at war and a future king born in the shadow of his older brother, Richard the Lionheart. You'll never be king. You'll never be king. Stop it! Ridiculed by his father. Maybe we should call you John Lackland. <laughs> Get it? Lackland. Because you lack land. <laughs> a story of power and betrayal. He might be a runty little bismic, eh? <laughs> but at least he would not turn on his own father. Yeah, the thing is, Dad, I'm sort of siding with the French and rebelling <laughs> against you. John, what have you done? <laughs> Mom, Dad's dead. Can I be king? No, it is your brother Richard's turn. So unfair! A boy desperate to be king, but thwarted by his elder brother. I gave him land in France on the condition that he stayed out of England while I'm on crusade. God wills it. God wills it. And did he? No. He sneaked back into England and started a full-scale rebellion. Two brothers at war, but stuck with each other in more ways than one. He's a cheating, scheming, spineless idiot. Oui, but he is our cheating, scheming, spineless idiot. Where is he? No. Hmm? I'm really sorry, Richard. It won't happen again. I'll do anything. So lucky he'll never be king. <laughs> king John, coming to a screen near you now. With Richard King, John couldn't win, no matter how he tried. But then some good luck came John's way. Brave Richard sadly died. A crisis of succession brews the barons must choose who. A 12-year-old with French support or John, they said. He'll do. You'll join us here at Westminster Abbey, 1199. Yes, he finally made it. It's the long-awaited coronation of King John, an occasion of true dignity and solemnity. And as the Archbishop of Canterbury approaches, John appears to be taking off his tunic and his undergarments. Sorry, can I just check something? Am I in the right place? Coronation of King John. It's just that he's getting almost completely naked. They always did that. Okay, weird. The new king emerges in some sort of nappy. Um, but doesn't he look magnificent as he finally dons the crown? And, oh, it struggles a bit. 